such course has more scope to get job, PR, spouse visa, and children's free education, level eight aquaculture course or food science course. To be able to get a spouse visa, first and foremost, is quite clear because with the new rules that have kicked into place, you need to be doing either a level nine or a level 10 course, which is a master's or a PhD to be able to get a spouse work visa. So that's quite clearly the answer to your question. Uh, but if you're doing only a level eight, your spouse can possibly still accompany you on a visitor visa. But if your spouse is going to come here on a visitor visa, your kids will not uh, get free education and a lot of other questions that you ask. So it looks like you have uh, serious intentions, uh, Sajita, to do it. But like I said, I think you need to be looking at a level nine or a 10 in case you are very keen for your spouse to uh, join you here on a work visa. If you're like, no, that's all right. My spouse can come here to New Zealand until I finish my level eight, but he doesn't have to work, then yeah, sure, we can uh, possibly look at applying for his visitor visa. But if the spouse is only on a visitor visa, then the kids will not uh, get free education. And as far as your other questions are concerned about whether you'll get a job or PR and spouse, we need to know what subject are you from? I mean, we have no clue what your subject is. So based on that, I'll not be a, because you haven't shared uh, of course, you're asking whether aquaculture or food science would be a better course. Uh, definitely uh, food science uh, from my experience and uh, from what has happened to our clients who have come here in the past. Food science, definitely, no doubt about it.